Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Gaynor Minden YouTube channel. When we asked you what questions you had, one of the things we got asked over and over again was, what's the difference between the box liner and the instant wings? Before I talk about how they're different, I want to go over what they have in common. So the first thing is the material. They're both made from a pour-on foam, which is a dynamic material that squishes to get out of the way when your foot needs to expand. So when you're rolling through point or when you're landing from a jump. Um, and then it pops back out to its original thickness when your foot contracts or compresses, like when you go up onto point, to help hold your foot in place. The second thing they have in common is that they both help to add some additional support to the shoe by keeping your foot from sinking or dropping into the box when you go on point. And then lastly, they're both pre-cut to match our box sizes. So you want to make sure you select the appropriate box liner or instant wing for your shoe size. Now, when it comes to what's different about them, the main difference is the shape. Right, so here I have a box liner and here I have the instant wing. And you can see very clearly the box liner is much smaller, the instant wing's a little bit bigger, it's kind of shaped like a mustache. Um, and it just takes up a little more space inside the shoe. The box liner, let me show you here, quite literally just lines the inside of the box. And what it looks like on the outside, so you can see a little bit easier, is like that. So it doesn't come up on the shoe, it's just covering the space that the box takes up. The instant wing, however, again this would be on the inside of the shoe, comes up a little bit higher on the vamp and it comes up on the sides a little bit more. So it's going to take up more space, it's going to provide a little bit more support. It's really, really wonderful for dancers that have like ultra compressible feet or really high arches. It's just going to give you more support from the side of your shoe and take up a little more space. Um, it's also really nice if you just are looking to smooth out that line where the box meets the satin, it can help to just kind of smooth that out and give you a really nice clean look and nice clean finish to your shoes. So one thing you guys want to note about uh, either the box liner or the instant wing, the same goes for both accessories, is that you have a tan side and you have a white side. And when you put this accessory, or you put the, you know, the instant wing is the same way, tan and white, when you put it inside the shoe, you want to make sure that the tan side goes up against the inside of the shoe so that the entire inside of the shoe stays white. So if you put that in, you've got the tan side down towards your foot, that's the wrong way. So take it out and just flip it over. If the whole inside of the shoe is white, you're good to go. Another tip about the box liners especially is if you feel like you've uh, like you really want a box liner. You just like you like the way it feels. You want the extra support. But when you add it into your shoe, it makes the shoe feel too snug. Try using a box liner that's a size smaller than the box that you have, or even two sizes smaller. So, for example, this particular shoe here is a number four box. If I was fitting with this, and my dancer told me, you know, I like the box liner, but it's way too snug, I would try a number three or even a number two box liner that would really just cover the bottom of the toes, um, and it's not going to come up onto the foot and change the way the shoe fits at all or affect the width really so much. Want to know how to find out if you have the right box liner for your box size or the right instant wing for your box size? It's really easy. You see these little notches? right up here, that's how you know. However many notches you have in the top of your box liner tells you the right size. So this particular liner has two notches, that's the number two box liner. This one has three notches, one, two, three, that's the number three. And then this one with the four notches here, one, two, three, four, is the same box liner for number four and number five box. And then on the instant wings, the notches are in a slightly different place. They're right here on the side. So again, one, two, three, number three wing, one, two, three, four, number four wing, and one, two, three, four, five, number five wing. Now we don't have a number two instant wing because we just really haven't found a need for it, but if you do feel like you wear a number two box and you really, really want the instant wing, you can always just trim down the number three wing just to match your box size. Still have questions about instant wings and box liners? Let us know in the comments below, and also make sure you're tuning in on the first Friday of every month to Fitting Fridays.
Thanks for watching.